Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. You're about to watch an Artist Alley vlog that was formerly uploaded on my old YouTube channel. But unfortunately that YouTube channel got deleted during a transfer that went wrong, so I've decided to re-upload them to this channel. I'm going to put the original year and date that it was uploaded in the description if you would like to see when the convention took place. All of these Artist Alley vlogs occurred before I became Spiced Illustrations, so there will be different studio names shown throughout the videos. However, it's still me and I still wanted to re-upload them and share them with you all because I figured they might be helpful if anyone's looking into tabling at a con or wants to learn anything about it. I'm hoping that you still find them super helpful or just for pure entertainment. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a look into my past artist alleys. Set up at Fan Expo Dallas. Woo, set up. Woo, set up. Set up. Set up. <laughs> so, yeah, got the booth already. I have everything out, including my comic originals, so I'm super excited. Also, look, it's my name up there. And it's spelled correctly, if I might add. So, yeah, the last time I tabled at Fan Expo, I was actually sharing a table. Um, and it, the traffic wasn't like the best, but I don't know. I haven't been in, I think it's been like three years since I've done Fan Expo. It's grown so much. Like, this hall is so big. <laughs> I'm so here's a view of me. Those are re entry doors, apparently. I'm hoping that brings us traffic. So, then behind me, we've got the artist alley from like over there all the way down to like down there, and then super vendors like the exhibitors, businesses, all that. They're all the way on the other side. There's like a sleep number place there, so we're gonna go take a nap in a second. <laughs> and so then on the opposite side of where the vendors are, you've got the cosplay guests, and then all the main guests are on the other side of that wall that you see right there. They put a big old wall up because they don't want us taking pictures or video of them, because, I mean, you have to pay for it, right? <laughs> Doors just open for VIP. Um, why are you not focusing on my face? Yeah, it looks like traffic slowly starting to make its way already. Like, oh, I hope it goes well, I hope it goes. I like, my fingers are so crossed, like, oh my God. So we're an hour and 40 in of VIP hours. Um, it's 20 minutes until general admission and the traffic's already happening. Like there's, you can't see, but there's lines forming everywhere and I've already got a commission. So I'm gonna be working on that right now. So I'm so excited. Um, I got Yerita here, she finally made it. I'm so glad I was getting worried about her. Um, but yeah, everything's going well, traffic is flowing. Um, so I'm gonna sit and work and oh my God, we're gonna try to have a good time y'all. Jonathan, what's for lunch today? Well, today we have an artisanal loaf surrounded by a shredded cow, which is what most commoners refer to as brisket, in a smoky yet savory barbecue sauce with thinly sliced potatoes deep fried in 40% less fat. Wow. It's a barbecue brisket sandwich with some kettle chips. <laughs> all right, guys, we're taking a poll. What does this door, what do y'all think this door goes to? What is the purpose of what's on the other side of the door? Satan. Satan. All right, y'all, if you think Satan's up there, oh, look at the cops play. The cops, there's, I, I think those are probably actually cops. No, it's cops play. I'm pretty sure cops play. It's HQ trivia time and we're playing at the table. We, I got an eraser because other people are playing around us. <laughs> Not me though. 
<laughs> so it is 802 so we're in the last hour um i haven't vlogged much today because i've kind of been just like trying to run around and make rounds because i know the next days are gonna be busy but the traffic's been amazing and the thing about this show is it's very family oriented so there's a lot of families walking around jonathan brought diet dr pepper enjoy your four dollar diet dr pepper i thought things were going okay now there's four dollar diet dr pepper It is day two here at Fan Expo Dallas. We got the booth set up for today. Uh, so Saturday is a busy day, hopefully. Um, yesterday was a big scoping out day. And it's usually uh, the first day. When I have a three day or multi day con, the first day is always a day where m most people just walk around and kind of see how much things are, talk to people, get their autographs, you know. Um, today I'm hoping that it's the big sale day. So um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm so bad at interacting with people because I'm so I'm such an introvert. I know I don't seem like it on the vlogs, but I'm a big introvert, and I feel like I need to work on that more, especially when people approach the booth. Um, but yeah, I've got everything out. I've got my comic originals. I've got my sketchbook originals. I've got my books, um, which I realize I only have two books now, <laughs> so I need to just make more comics. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all have been following my posts on social media, but I did kind of take a break the past couple weeks. I got really burned out and my mental health was kind of bad. And so I stopped updating the webcomic and channel um, for the time being, but I'm back. <laughs> I, I feel better. Con's always, uh, or <laughs> Con's always give me that motivation, so. So we're gonna have a good Saturday and I'm feeling good. I just, I feel, I don't know if I've already mentioned how grateful I am. I mean, I'm a freaking guest. Like that's pretty badass. Mission. Um, so it's one of these things where someone brings me a sketchbook and it's like a themed. This one is Cthulhu themed. And so I got commissioned to do full body black and white um, Cthulhu commission. So we'll see how that goes. I get so excited when I get these that people choose me to be in their sketchbook. So that's what I'm about to work on. I'm so glad people are buying commissions and original art. That's one thing that I was like super afraid of putting out on my table. But I think that's what does better at Comic Cons for me, which makes me happy. So the thing about our table is it's kind of weird. So we're at the very end of the hall and those doors were closed yesterday, but they're open today and it's a big like traffic drain because you've got the traffic coming from autographs that way, from the dealer's room that way, and they're all exiting out that way before they even come in front of here. So <sighs> a little downside, but we're trying to deal with it. Okay, so we just got, went to go get some autographs. Well, we tried to get a couple, but Estelle's line is super long, so we're gonna try tomorrow. But I went and I met Lucy Christian, who does the voice of Duck in Princess Tutu, and she signed it. And it's this quack! Ah! All right, Jonathan, what are we having for lunch today? We have a toasted white bun with a meat that is unknown, because it is, with a beef, Sauce and sh aged shredded milk curds. Wow. <laughs> <That's a> hot <laughs> dog. <laughs> All right, y'all, new development. There is a line forming in front of our booth, which may help because everyone's leaving out those doors, and now people have to walk in front of my booth. <laughs> Look at me, please. 
Uh, that line has actually really helped traffic. I've made more sales in the past like hour that that line has existed than any time in the rest of the day. So I'm happy. <laughs> it's a line for Jim Lee, the artist. So they're all in line to like meet him and stuff. So thank you, Jim Lee. <laughs> My name is uh, Elia Maria Madrid Crawford. Um, I do a weekly web comic online called Elia and Box. It's a little slice of life, me making fun of life, and just every, everyday things. Um, I, I love drawing panel comics. That's what I love to do comic strips. I love to make people laugh for art. Um, and I also do illustrations for books as well. All right, so I didn't get to film an outro because my memory card filled up at my panel. And then by the time the panel ended, we were literally in the middle of breakdown hour. And so I'm like, you know what, fine, let's break down and go. So now we're driving home after Saturday. The panel went well. It was attended by a few people and they like they, that genuinely seemed interested in what we were talking about. Things. So tomorrow's Sunday, the last day. Um, it's gonna be Cinco de Mayo, so I think I'm gonna run a special or something at my table. I don't know yet. But I am gonna have new stickers. My stickers arrived at, at our at our place today. Um, that I was supposed to have for this weekend. I'm probably gonna do a print special, uh, or even an original. I don't know, I might come up with some fun tonight. Um, because I just want to try to make some, at least some good sales. I've met a lot of good people though. The people are really nice. Um, very, very interactive. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go home. We're gonna eat Thai food and, uh, sleep. Because we did not do enough of that last night. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. It is Sunday and I still haven't put on my lip color, I just realized. So last night, my new stickers came in. I've got two new stickers. I don't know where the other one went, but I'm about to reorganize them and I posted them up. I'm also doing Cinco de Mayo sales today because I'm trying to get sales. <laughs> I'm hoping today we get like the last bit of traffic of people who like want to buy like things last minute because they've done all that they needed to do the past two days. I'm really hoping. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Let me show you the little stickers. There it is. Okay, so the first one is a little Pikachu saying Pika Pika because <laughs> he's eating a habanero pepper. And so that's gonna be available in my Etsy shop after Fan Expo, after I do post Fan Expo inventory. And the second one is Cowboy Dabbing. It says Yeet Haw. Cause that's the stuff I love to draw. <laughs> so I'm just finishing organizing the stickers into my portfolio. I'm already reset up for the day. Um, and we end up getting here early. I feel like we don't hear at the same time today as yesterday, but no one's here. Code Dennis 2019. The show is now open. Have a fantastic day. Traffic's okay. Um, it's not like crazy, but I mean, I sold a couple of little quick bits. Um, but I did take time since it was kind of slow. I walked away from the table and I got to meet. Um, so far, I've met Estelle and Michaela from Steven Universe, uh, who voice I am at this incarnate. So we have the answer and we got it signed by both of them. Ah, I suck at modeling. And we got it signed by both of them. And then we got to take a picture with Michaela. It was super awesome. And they had to leave for a panel at noon, which is kind of when we were, we kept off at Michaela's line. And so we're probably gonna go back and try to meet um, Dee Dee and Zach, who voice Steven and Pearl, because I want all four of their signatures. So yeah, we'll see. Like, you see there's people, okay, so here's my thing with this convention. My only thing is I'm constantly busy because I, I'm talking to people and everything, but the sales aren't being made. Um, I, like, I love interacting with people, I do, and I just like, sometimes I just wanna be like, buy something, please. 
it's conventions like this where um, I know they're here for autographs and all that from the big, big names. So um, little, little comic artists are just second thought. Um, which is fine. I mean, that's that's how these comic conventions work. Um, but I'm having fun. Like I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm here with Jonathan, and we. This is our crowd, so and we've seen a lot of people that we know, which is good. All right. So today we have a little lunch in a box, thanks to Jonathan using our guest privileges guest like privilege. we should yes, have been. <laughs> So I wasn't gonna cut, I'm not going to cut in front of a line in front of everyone, which apparently we can do with this. Yeah, we, there's apparently a green room with food. <laughs> we just have been buying food all weekend. Whoops. So what do we what do we have today, yeah, gonna, Jonathan? Pop it. Oh, they slide. It slides. Oh, it slides. Wow. It's a full hoagie. Wow. A cookie. Wow. And chips. We should have been doing this shit all week. All right, I have Hector with me. Hey, Hector. We're headed to our panel. It's rock and roll. Are you live or you're we're recording. What if I said we were live though? <laughs> Alright Hector, we just finished our panel. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fine. went really well. Yeah. It was small and intimate, but really good. Yes. The people were super nice. Very engaging. Yeah. yeah. So just head back to the table. One more hour left of the show. We'll see how it goes. Look at the artist working diligently. So concentrated. So focused. Nothing drawing their attention away from the work that they have to do. You can't draw away my attention. Thank you. I'm here till the end of the day. What's the theme of the sketch, but it's your biggest fear. So, hello. Show me the way we can be with you. You and her and I saw you. We're at 445, um, 15 minutes till the close of the show. So I'm starting to clean up like the back of the booth right now. But I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I bought a guest table. It was totally free, totally fine. So for having a guest table, I did it. I did it right. Like I think the only not my only thing is that just the placement of everyone. That's really my only thing, really. I mean, I had a lot of fun. I got to meet celebrities. I met a lot of new artists. This con is a very interactive con. People come up to your table to talk to you and learn about you. It's not so much a, a stop and shop, which is okay. I mean, like yeah, the tables are expensive here. I if you're uh, wanting to get a table as an artist, it's definitely one of those like try it out. Um, see what you think. It is worth it for some. Um, but all in all, like, the, just the convention experience, it's a big con. There's so much to do. You're not getting bored. The people at this con specifically, I think, are very nice because it's a family oriented show. Um, but yeah, everyone who came by the table, thank you so much um, for talking with me, for buying for me. So yeah, we're probably going to slowly start to pack up. Um, but yeah. I'm really honored that they made me a guest. Like, that's crazy that I'm considered guest material now, you know? Like, I've been doing a webcomic 10 years. I've been illustrating for like maybe three. And I, even then, I still don't think I'm worth it sometimes, you know? Like, so this is surreal. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all at the next con. Bye bye.